Good evening, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle, and we're gonna carry on now with the last three from the empowerment series that I'm doing. Which, by the way, seem to be doing quite well. Um, which I kind of expected them to, because anytime I've done any sort of love reading in the past, they've seemed to um, have taken on pretty well with uh, my subscribers and my viewers, but um, these ones seem to be doing really well in the first 24 hours, so that's nice to see. I'm, I'm glad that I found a new spread for you guys that you're enjoying. Um, please keep in mind it's a general read. Cannot, will not resonate with everyone. That's fine. Take what you can, leave what you can't. And uh, like, subscribe, and share the channel so that these messages can reach a broader audience. So we're going to carry on tonight with Sagittarius. Oh, those over there. So we are going to... Where's my house of night? There they are. It looks so clean right here. But my desk over here is nuts. There is all kinds of stuff. Tomorrow is clean the altar day. So we're going to get two House of Night wisdom cards. One for you, which will go on this side. One for your person or the relationship that's pulling through. That'll be on this side. Then we'll bring in some tarot to give some clarification. Um, and then we will do some lover's oracle and then the energy the energy oracle cards and then your reading will be done Sagittarius all right one card for Sagittarius and the oh, perfect hmm. so in your like the energy you're pulling through is invisible and the energy that the other person is pulling through is differences so at first glance without any sort of clarification what I'm seeing is uh, we're getting a sense that you're pulling away that there's um, energetic pull away for some for some there's an emotional detachment that is taking place right now. Um, and I think that the person is seeing a difference. They're seeing those differences. So if you used to, let's say you used to bring your partner coffee to bed in the mornings, they're noticing that that's not a thing anymore. Um, if you were the type of person to text when you got to work, Hey babe, just got to work, love you, have a great day. And then you just stop doing that, they've noticed that. Um, if you were the type of person to grab, you know, be out and about and doing your running around and think to yourself, oh, so, you know, oh, they really like it when I bring them this, flowers, chocolate bar, milkshake from their favorite milkshake restaurant something like that like just the little things they're noticing those little things are starting to fall away oftentimes in relationships as we start to get comfortable those little gestures will naturally start to fall away a little bit but I feel like this is almost intentional like you're there might it this might all this almost feels like a test like how much can I pull away before it's too much it's like how far can I push this before I get called out for not being uh, romantic enough or thoughtful enough or whatever? All right, let's get clarification. Clarification for invisible, please. Clarification for invisible, please. I was making sure that the cards were up the right way. Clarification for invisible. All right, so clarifying invisible, we've got the seven of wands. Got a lot of cards. The high priestess. The ace of swords. Five of swords. King of pentacles. 
and the Eight of Swords. Yeah. So the Eight of Swords oftentimes... Hang on. Wait a second. This is Wands. Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands, with the way the cards fell, I feel like that's like a shutdown, like a set, right? You're starting to pull away. Now, this could be because you're trying to find that high priestess type of energy, right? That nurturing energy. You're trying to self-love and kind of take a step back and nurture yourself so that you can be better for those around you. Um, but with the ace here, with the ace of swords, there's so many swords. You're just so in your head. The ace of swords paired with the five of swords tells me that there's new information that's come in or somebody's told you something or something's been said. And rather than, you know, discussing it or, uh, acknowledging it, you're just, you're dwelling on it. You you're kind of in your head about it and you can't. You can't let this, I'm not saying let it go like it's something that shouldn't matter. That's not at all what I mean, but you can't, you don't know what it means. I'm hearing now what, now what? And then you have the King of Pentacles paired with the Eight of Swords. And so that tells me that you're, um, there's been some like unseen circumstances or something that you didn't see coming has taken you and put you in a position where your Pentacles are not as kingly as you would like them. All right, let's clarify differences. Clarify differences for Sagittarius, this person, please. That's too many. Clarify differences, please. All right. Clarifying differences for your person. We got the Four of Cups. They're being very reflective right now. And we got judgment in reverse. And I haven't been reading these guys in the reverse, but in the deck, they are all upright. And when it fell onto the table, it reversed itself. So that tells me that it, it means it. Um, yeah, there's just like an, un, there's an imbalance here between the two of you. Um, and they're, they're feeling lacked. And what you are bringing to the table right now, they can't even see it because all they're doing is fixating on the things that you used to do or the things that aren't being done right now. Um, and I get a, I get the sense that they're also, they, they might be the type of person to be um, like a little codependent. And so when you don't do these little things for them, maybe I'm getting manipulation too, right? Like twisting your words and making you feel like, and that could be why you're pulling back a little bit is because that gets old, right? Nobody likes to live in that heads in, in that, that like filth, right? Codependency, manipulation, it's all pretty toxic. So that could be part of it too, right? You could be looking to pull away. That's too much. All right. So you got trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. You got criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. What are transformations? Beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. 
Now we'll get the energy cards, and you guys will be done. All right. One energy. Okay. That was super quick. So... You got door to value. So I think that falls under where you're trying to like go in and, and start to remember what your own value is and kind of figure out what the value of this is too, right? And then they got blossoming abundance. So they could have new offers coming in shortly as well that could start to pull their energy and focus away from this. So if this isn't what you want, Now's the time to cut them free because they have options coming. All right, Sagittarius, I hope this finds you with love and light in your heart. And until we meet again, blessed be.